Hi there, and a very warm welcome to episode 11 of People Soup. It's Ross McIntosh here. Slightly different this week, by special request, people have asked me if I can record a meditation. So this one is the mindful meditation of body and breath. We're going to go straight into the exercise, more or less. So without much ado, I'm assuming you're sitting on an upright chair, like an office chair or a dining chair. I'm assuming you've got about eight minutes to listen to this guidance and follow it as best you can. And I'd recommend that you have a go at this maybe four or five times a week if this is your first experience of practicing mindfulness. So without further ado, after this next spoon interlude, we'll go straight into the exercise. So, sitting on a chair, with your feet flat on the floor, your hands resting on your knees, your back upright, in a dignified posture, your head and neck erect. And if it's comfortable for you, allowing your eyes to close, or your gaze to go unfocused on the floor or whatever's in front of you, Now begin by just bringing your awareness to the points where you're in contact with the floor and the chair. Exploring those physical sensations as best you can for a moment. Just attending to those sensations in the body. Now imagining your attention is a spotlight focused on the body and taking that spotlight down the body to the feet, the soles, the tops of the feet, the ankles and the toes. Attending to all the physical sensations you become aware of in both feet. Maybe there's a temperature, maybe an ache, maybe there's nothing at all and that's fine, we're not looking to create anything. We're just looking to notice with curiosity what's there right now. And on the next in-breath, expanding the spotlight of attention to take in the legs up to the pelvis. Seeing as best you can, if you can notice what sensations there are in the calves, the knees, and the thighs. Maybe noticing how those sensations arise and dissolve in awareness. Now you may find that your mind wanders, it gets hooked away by something interesting. And don't worry, that's entirely normal, that's what human minds do. If you do notice this, notice where the mind went and then see if you can bring the attention back to the legs and the feet and the pelvis, noticing the sensations that are there right now in this moment. And on the next in-breath, expanding the attention again to take in the torso, the chest and the back Expanding the spotlight to take in the arms and the hands as well, right to the ends of the fingertips. Noticing as best you can the sensations there. And expanding the attention once more to take in the neck and the head. Noticing any sensations in the muscles of the neck. Noticing the expression of the face. Now narrowing down the spotlight of attention and bringing the awareness to the breath as it moves in and out of the body, at the abdomen. Noticing the changing patterns of physical sensations in the abdomen as the breath moves in and out of the body. If you want, you can place your hand on the abdomen for a few breaths just to 
Notice this. As best you can, following closely with your attention, each inward and outward breath. Noticing the changing physical sensations for the full duration of each in-breath and each out-breath. Perhaps noticing the slight pause between each one. There's no need to feel you have to control the breathing. Just let the breath breathe itself. And sooner or later, usually sooner in my case, you might find that your mind has wandered. Your attention has been hooked away by thoughts, images, memories, daydreams. And this isn't a mistake, this is just what human minds do. When you notice that your awareness is no longer on the breath, you might congratulate yourself. You've already woken up enough to know it and are once more aware of your experience in this moment. Simply acknowledge where the mind has wandered to and then gently invite your attention back to the sensations in your abdomen. And this mind wandering might happen over and over again. So each time, see if you can note where the mind has been and then invite your attention back to the abdomen and the anchor of the breath. You might notice some frustration with your mind wandering that the mind is disobedient. So no matter how many times your mind wanders, see if you can allow some compassion for your mind as you bring it back to where you had intended. And that's the abdomen and the inward and outward movement with each breath. I'm just going to pause for a moment to allow you to practice this noticing the physical sensations in the abdomen and see if you can invite your attention back if you notice that your mind has wandered. Remembering that the intention is to simply be aware of your experience in each moment. Now in a moment I'll bring this exercise to a close. So when you're ready, just allow the body to move and stretch a little. Open your eyes, have a look round. And congratulate yourself for practicing the skill of present moment awareness. Now I'd recommend you try this exercise four or five times a week to start with. So see if you can try experimenting, doing the exercise at different times of the day. See what works best for you. I'm going to sign off now, so thank you very much for listening and look forward to speaking soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>